Hey everyone, this is Michael with the Central Kansas Library System. Thanks for joining me for another 5-Minute Friday. Today we're going to be talking about Facebook. If you use Facebook for your library, you may sometimes get messages from patrons at all hours of the day, and you can't always respond to them right away, and you still want to make sure that patrons feel like they're being heard and listened to and that you're being responsive to them. One of the ways you can do this is by setting up an automatic reply on Facebook so that even if you're not there to reply to their message right away, they will get a message that gives them some more information. I'm going to show you how to do that. And so let's take a look and see what that looks like. Okay, I'm going to show you where to find this on the CKLS Facebook page. Your Facebook, your library's Facebook page should be very similar. However, it's important to keep in mind that Facebook is notorious for updating things fairly frequently and moving things around. And so it's possible that this process may change, but I'm going to show you how it's working right now. So first of all, you need to log into your Facebook account that you use to access your library's Facebook page. And then you want to go to your Facebook page. You want to make sure that you've switched into the page profile. So I'm going to do that. And then once you're switched in, you're going to go over to the left. And the easiest way I've found to do this is to go to the Meta Business Suite right here. Go ahead and click on that. It opens a new tab. And once you're here, it's kind of overwhelming because there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. But we're just going to go and look for this one that says Inbox. And we're going to click on that. And right now, this is showing us all the messages that we've received recently in the CKLS Facebook page. Instead, we want to look up here at the top where there's this little symbol and where it says automations. We're going to click on automations and we're going to ignore all of this right now. And let's go up to the right where it says in blue, create automation and click on that. And now we've got a couple of options. We've got two that we already have set up for our page and then some others that are not set up. Now this is really customizable. As you can see, we can set up a basic instant reply and we can set up a message for when we're not open. But there's a lot of other stuff too. You can actually set up, you can set up a reply for if someone's asking you for your location or your contact information or your hours. And you can even set up custom messages based on what someone writes. And basically what happens is when someone sends you a Facebook message, there's AI in Facebook that analyzes the message to try and figure out which one of these is the best response. But we're not going to bother with all of this complexity right now. We're just going to set up a single instant reply message that's going to go to everyone who sends you a message, no matter what it is. Now, of course, we do have a reply set up already, but I want to, want to show you what it looks like when you start from the beginning. So I'm going to click on start from scratch. And then you need to name this automation. I'm just going to put message reply, something basic like that. You need to select that you want to use it for Messenger. So this is going to be for your Facebook messages. If you've got it linked to an Instagram account, you should also be able to add this for your Instagram. And then you're going to set up basically a trigger this, that starts this message. And then you choose what you want Facebook to do with that. For our trigger, we just want to put anytime we receive a new message. And you can add conditions. For example, if someone asks about hours or if they have certain keywords, you can make it do certain things. Again, we're not getting into that today. If you want to experiment with that, feel free to do that. Then we go down to what action do we want to take? And then we just want to send them a message. And we want to put in a message here that will be sent to anyone who messages, messages you on Facebook. Okay, so I've typed in a basic response message that just tells them that we're going to get in touch with you soon, gives them our open hours, and also tells them other ways that they can get in touch with us. Now that I've got that in, I'm going to click on Save Changes. And now at the bottom of the screen, we have a new instant reply. The goal is to greet people, and we can always edit it if we want to change it again. So now anytime someone sends a message to your Facebook page, they're going to see the message that you selected, and you don't, feel, you don't have to feel like you're constantly watching your Facebook Messenger inbox. And that is all I have for you today. If you have any questions, please feel free to let us know here at CKLS. We're always happy to help you with marketing your library or with Facebook. And with that being said, 
Hope you have a great rest of your week, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.